Hey, okay, back from my daughter's concert. Last high school concert, so my eyes were red because I was crying. <laughs> uh, my little baby's going off to college, y'all. I'll be an emotional mess for probably a good month. All right, so I brought him in outside. <laughs> the fun part's getting the rubber band off, just so you guys know. Um, I want to uh, clean. Do not leave acne treatment gel on your baby's head overnight um, because it does have a kind of like a bleaching agent effect and you don't want weird spots on your baby's Ugh. head. Darn it. Oh man. I have the worst motor, fine motor skills ever so this has really taken me quite a bit to get off. I need a hold of it. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Huh. That was fun. I love needle nose pliers because it helps me get a hold of things because my hands just, I have the worst motor, motor skills in my hands as it is. All right, so let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash this head off and we're going to see live, well not live, but you're going to see um, the results just from today. Also, remember I told you, um, you can literally see the two dots inside the head. Okay, so what that means is even though I gave him a, a nice soak bleach and he feels really nice on the inside, I'm actually going to treat inside his head as well. The tricky part is setting him up in the sun enough to where the sun can get to it. It would be a lot easier if I had a lamp, a UV lamp, but I don't. And I want to get this little man to his mama as soon as possible. So, and she's been very patient. And waiting for him and I promise that he it will be worth it all right so um, I work Monday through Friday so the two babies that I'm treating because I want to get them to their homes I have a nice huge window in my office that gets plenty of Sun and a friend of mine also she gets most of the Sun she gets more Sun than I do on her side of the window because of where her where her office where her desk is in in accordance to where the Sun shines into the window so I'll be borrowing her window seal for a little bit tomorrow for two of the doll heads, which is probably going to creep her out, but she loves me. So anyway, so let's go ahead and wash this head. All right, so I'm taking my organic dish soap. This one has lavender in it, and as I told you before, in the, if you're in the group that had the live video, um, lavender is an all-natural, it's a natural essential oil that has a natural antibacterial agent to it it's wonderful lemon does too but let me tell you something about lemon essential oil it's okay to use in your laundry it's okay to use on your dishes do not use it on clothing do not use it on plastic do not use it on vinyl heads because the lemon has an citrus acid to it and it can do some damage um, possibly and I don't want to take that risk um, I know it, orange essential oil has been known to actually literally eat through plastic, plastic bottles. So they always tell you if you're doing anything with essential oils dealing with um, orange, you need to use a glass bottle. Okay, so, but lavender doesn't do that. Lavender is safe. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of the dish soap in my hand. And look, a little, 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 little bit goes a huge long way. No more than a dime size bit of organic um, detergent, okay? All right, I'm going to take another dose of my baking soda. Very, very, just a very small pinch. You don't want to accidentally microscopically scratch your baby's head. This moisture loves those little microscopic scratches where they can get into, especially down here in the south. Okay, now I'm going to mix it up in my hand. And your second dose, you don't need as much 
baking soda as you did the first dose anyway because his head is really clean. All we're trying to do now, really, is just lighten up those spots so you can't readily see them and hopefully get rid of them all together. I have to retreat my girl Nisi. Um, she's got two of her spots that I had originally thought faded and were going to stay faded started coming back. So I'm going to have to redo her again, but that's because of where I live and I need to get a dehumidifier in my house ASAP as soon as I get my cabbie room and workshop uh, set up. So I'll be looking for a used one because I'm only going to be living here a year. So. And Montana is a very, very dry state, even in the wintertime. So I think I'm going to have, I'll probably end up taking it with me to Montana anyway, just in case, but maybe run it during the summer months just, just to be safe. But seriously, I don't think, oh yes, one spot is almost completely gone and the other spot has lightened up a lot. So let me dry his head off real quick and I'll show you. He'll probably need two more treatments. Two more spa treatments as far as being out in the sun. Um, one more for the one spot and it should be completely gone. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some Oxy. I just have better luck with Oxy. Although this stuff is working. Um, it's just not working as fast as I would like it because I'm impatient. I mean, I want to get these babies to their homes. You know what I'm saying? Um, they were nice enough to go ahead and purchase them and have faith in me and treating their babies and I want to you know when you, when you adopt a baby you want it right away because you want to love on it and hug it and dress it and play with it I mean we're all women and gents and I'm sorry but you know they're just so cute you gotta you gotta love on them and they're gonna want to love on them so that's for your baby I'll love on them while I'm treating them I promise all right so oh my gosh so much better. Check this out, guys. All right, I'm going to try and get this as close to the camera without making it fuzzy as possible. All right. The light spot, you can't even barely see it. I can barely see it myself, but it's right here. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger away. Barely. <sighs> Nisi is happy. Okay, this spot was really super dark and it's getting really close to being gone. All right, now I'm gonna show you stage three. I don't do this stage to all kids. I only do it for spots that are stubborn and I feel like it would benefit opening up the vinyl for some air. In this case, because there's spot, there's, um, you can actually see the spot still on the inside of the head um, I'm going to give the outside of the vinyl some air for this one dark spot right here. <clears throat> now this is 2000 grit. Honestly, I like the 1200 grit thread better when treating pox. This is awesome for face rubs. You know, sometimes your kid gets that little shiny, it's not a scratch, but it's like a shiny, how, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a shiny mark on the face. It's called, they call it a rub mark. This stuff is awesome. 2000 grit. Lightly water it. Um, now, I will say this blackness kind of comes off, but it comes right off. Um, you can use this dry, but I don't like using it dry because even though it's 2000 um, grit and it's safe for vinyl, I just feel like there's less risk of any microscopic scratches when you're using this and always go in a circle. Never go back and up and down or side to side. Always a circle. Um, and I just like the results of when it was when it's wet better. Um, so when you're doing this, you want to keep a nice wet. I make my own baby wipes um, using natural ingredients. <clears throat> And I always keep some handy so that I can wipe the face as I'm sandpapering. Um, it just um, that way I can get that the the black the black off. Um, but it doesn't stain as as long as you're wiping as you're working. 
Um, and then also you can also use rubbing alcohol when you're done just to make sure you haven't missed anything um, and that works as well. All right, so I'm gonna wet this a little bit. I don't like using sandpaper dry. Sometimes I have to, like now if you have pox like my niece did and um, the fungus has raised and caused a hard bump like a pimple, you will have to use 1200 grit without it being wet. All right. Plus, using this wet leaves the vinyl looking shiny, um, and you don't have to buff it as much with a buffer, okay? So it's wet. All right, now, that's where the dot is. You can barely see it, and man, I'm really, really happy with how this little boy's turning out. All right, so we're going to take it, and you're going to want to apply pressure. Don't be scared to apply pressure, okay? And you're going to go in a circle like this okay when you take it off you see that little blackness right there that's just the juice from using the sand and it comes right off see so that's proof so I want y'all to be comfortable with this method all right I was a little leery but um, there's a lot of different vinyl res restoration people who do dolls all different types of dolls and this is they do use this stuff all right, so I'm gonna put it against here so I can really get, because like I said, I have weak, I have weak hands. All right, so I'm gonna go in a circle again. Sometimes sandpapering like this, you end up not even having to do a third treatment. Sometimes the rest of the smart is like just above the vinyl. Oh wow, this is really working well. All right. already a difference. Nice. All right, opening up that vinyl a little bit so he'll be ready for his treatment tomorrow morning. I'm going to go ahead and do the light spot too. Oh wow. Man, that light spot is literally almost totally 100% gone. Um, if we get a nice sunny day tomorrow and I'm putting him in my window sill at the office, I guarantee you that will be gone and I'll still have to probably do one more treatment for this last spot and for the inside of the head. So I'll probably have him for at least another three days depending on the sun. Um, man, I really wish I had my heat lamp because I could literally do these treatments in my office while I was at work if I had my heat lamp with me. All right. Weird because sometimes pox have like a bluish gray color to it. It's just weird the stuff that you see. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's almost like a black, more of a black color. All right, now I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol because I did open up that vinyl and let it breathe, and there might be some some lingering bacteria from the fungus, and we're gonna kill it instantly with this stuff. Okay. Man, get yourself a plenty of supply of rubbing alcohol. It's good for all sorts of things. All right, now we're gonna just rub it on the head in those two areas and it's voila, nice. Okay, so he's done for the night. I'm gonna set him up and let him dry because I did rinse him off and I think a little bit of water got in on the inside feel around where those spots are. No? Okay, it's not sticky, so that's good. It's looking good. All right, so we've got at least one to two treatments left to do on that spot. I think one more treatment on this spot will do the trick for that one. And then I am going to treat the inside of the head just because oh, you're not going to see the inside of the head, but the acne gel is good for killing extra bacteria also. And I'm just not giving this thing any chance to, to come back. Um, and then, like I said, when we're done with him, I'm going to discuss very specifically 
um, regular maintenance that you will need to do for these type of kids um, that are high risk for pox so that they, that they don't come back because um, they can. My niece's proof of it. She's got two little spots that are starting to come back. <clears throat> All right. Perfect. All right, so now he's going to... I try to dry the inside of the head as much as I can. He's going to just hang out in my bathroom for tonight. Um, and he's going to finish drying. I'm really happy with the results. Really happy. It's doing very, very well. Very well. Yes. Very well. His mama's going to be happy when she gets him. I mean, he's such a beautiful baby. I mean, he was mint, except for those two spots. When I saw that, oh, my heart broke because his outfit's perfect. His body is 100% mint perfect. This proves that just because they're in a box doesn't mean this can't happen, people. Okay? Be careful. Unless you're like me and you don't, you know, you, you take... I mean, I would be upset if I spent a lot of money and then ended up with a kid with pox because it's happened to me. I spent a lot of money on my niece, who I found out was very common. I should never pay that amount, even if she was mint and nothing wrong with her. But anyway, and then, you know, I had to, I had, it was a matter of principle. I was going to, I was going to fix her. Um, so just be careful. Just be really careful. And just because you ask the question, hey, do they have pox? And the seller says they don't. This seller in particular didn't know what pox was. And I even told him, like, is there any kind of discoloration on the face or anything like that? She said no. And she was honest because she looked at the face through the box and said, didn't see any. She didn't take off his little hat, and that's where that pox was hiding. <clears throat> um, and if you don't know what you're looking for, sometimes, depending on what the pox looks like, a lot of people think it's a freckle, and it's not. <laughs> So don't automatically assume the seller's trying to um, rip you off and sell you a sick doll. That's not always the case. A lot of times, especially these kids that you find on sale from private homes, um, they don't have a lot, and it was their doll from a child. A lot of them don't know what they're looking at. Okay, so you need to be very specific when you're asking questions like, okay, I need you to do me a favor. I know he probably has never been out of the box, but the only way I can purchase him is if you take him out of the box, I need you to look at the head for me. Do you see anything that looks like this? And send pictures. <clears throat> now, the sellers who don't want to bother to do that, I don't buy from them because they're not having respect for my hard-earned money that I'm spending, possibly on something they want to sell to me. Um, I know it irritates a lot of sellers, but let me tell you something. When I'm selling my kids, you ask me as many questions as you want. You're not bothering me. And then if you decide to adopt another kid, I'm not going to be mad at you. It's your hard-earned money. You have to love the kid that you're adopting. That's the whole point of having these kids. Okay? Um, you know, you have to be happy with what, with what you're buying and what you're adopting. So if you're not happy, don't, don't, don't buy. And don't be scared to ask me all kinds of questions. I will take as many pictures as you want. Um, I'll take them outside because that's where the best lighting is. And that's just it. But you know, everybody's different. Um, I know that I ask a lot of questions and I've, I've lost out on a lot of cabbies because of that. But at the end of the day, I gotta be careful. I have a seven year old boy and a, a baby with pox that's not properly treated, if your child is playing with it, um, the pox doesn't spread from one doll to another, but it is a type of mold, and if your child is sensitive to mold, your child's gonna get sick, okay? So it's not something to just, you know, be nonchalant about. Just be careful, peeps. Part of my videos is to educate and teach you what pox is, how it can affect your youngin, and how it can affect you as an adult. If you have an allergy to, to mold as an adult, you can't have one of these in your house unless they've been fully, fully treated, and then you need to make sure you're keeping upkeep to make sure it doesn't come back, especially for these factory kids. All right, I've blabbed enough. I am so sorry. I'll get off my soapbox. Okay, 
I am going to take a 30 minute break. I got a little bit of a headache. I got a little emotional at the concert and you know, it's my youngest, youngest, um, my youngest girl, my oldest girl, she's an adult and been moved away for a while, but this is my first child that actually got through high school and is graduating and got accepted at FSU on a full ride scholarship into the College of Music, and so it was an emotional night for me because this was her very last concert, and she's been my main focus for 18 years, so I was being a typical mom and I lost it. <laughs> in the concert and I had to walk out and go sit in my car and calm myself down so I'm going to go take me an ibuprofen and um, I'm going to get the next this next sweet little girl prepared and ready for the for her starting at step one video and I will record it and upload it you guys have a good night and I'll see you again in a couple of minutes for the different pox education because we're going to be treating her a lot differently than we do him all right you guys Stay tuned and hang in there with me. All right, bye.